What? Okay, so 21's over, but they're coming together to make a last song called Goodbye. Like, I thought I was done. I thought it was, I thought, because when they first announced that they're disbanding, like, officially, like, at least for a good week, I was sad. But they're coming back together to make a last song. That's good. But it seems like Minty's not going to be participating from sources, it seems like. Which, I mean, I I thought, you know, maybe I was hoping uh, it would be a, them as a four uh, participating together uh, to make one last song for 21 in like their era but uh and it also says the source also mentioned that Minzy uh was probably not participating in the upcoming project as she is signed under a different agency but isn't Park Bomb not under YG anymore too or is that like another like this is dope that we get to have an official goodbye you know that in the positive note like this is an official goodbye but obviously in YG I don't know if YG just all of a sudden just doing this unless this is 21's idea, not YG's idea, but YG has to have something to do with it just to get some extra money from us. The 21 members, uh, the members of 21 were sad they weren't able to say their final goodbyes to the fans after their sudden disbandment, so they're coming together for one last song. Oh, Lord. Oh my god, it's gonna be like, I feel like this is gonna be like last dance, but I'm not, like literally saying, yo, goodbye. It's a. <sighs> I just, oh my god. This is gonna kill me. Like, not in a good way, too. Like, in a good way, like... But, like... It's it's gonna be sad. Because it's it's been, like, over a month or two. Two months? Month or two months? Because they disbanded in November. So, basically, they're just saying their official goodbyes. Um, damn, I already can see the music video. They're gonna either... Okay, so this... I feel like the music video is gonna be, like, them in the studio recording it. And then just like past of like how they were young growing up. Will they include Minzy in the, the clips too? I hope so. That will be really awkward even though she's not participating. Would they, should they include Minzy? I think they should. I don't know y'all. How y'all Blackjack's feeling? Because but me, when I first read this early in the morning, I was looking at my phone saying like, Nah. Really? Like for real? Like, because I don't want to get my hopes up. Because you know sometimes when they make these announcements, you can't really believe them at first unless... <sighs> It's hard to believe things, you know what I'm saying? It's good that we have an, like, uh, they have an official goodbye and we have an official goodbye because that, this bandman out of nowhere just, like, cut the, sli like, sliced, like, stabbed me in my heart. Uh, why is K-pop so dramatic, man? <laughs> just damn. So, 21's last track, Goodbye, will be released on January 21. Yeah, 21. Just to make it more... 21E. In other news, Wonder Girls, another big girl group, Wonder Girls reported to consider leaving JYP Entertainment. Yes, Wonder Girls be doing that ish. Well, it's not official, they're considering it, obviously. It says, I said considering, because they have yet to resign their contract. And it says here, a source revealed on January 5 that some members have been in contact with other agencies that were recommended by friends. A source from one of the agencies said that it was true. However, the contracts are not expired, so they're they're not yet going to reveal anything so yeah but this thing is updating as we speak so we don't know what's gonna happen so obviously when this video is out it's probably gonna be updated so hold on to your hosts I just don't want them to disband either but hopefully they do leave as a group uh, to another company if that happens if they're not happy at JYP and they can get out of their contracts hopefully that happens if that's the case Right? And better news, uh, I don't know if you guys know uh, who Sam Kim is, but he's a singer, a very good singer. He was in my top 16, or at least in my honorable mentions. Uh, my top 16 video, which you can watch in the description down below, or there's probably going to be a card somewhere, or uh, a slate after this video. But uh, he talks about uh, his OST on the K-Drama Goblin, which I heard it was really good. Yo, Sam Kim, are you still willing to like go check out Train to Busan with me again? Because I watched it, it was amazing, but you want to... No, maybe, no, maybe. I'll with your schedule and everything, and if I go to Korea, okay. <laughs> Yo. I haven't really watched uh, K dramas really. But obviously, as an OST, it should be epic. Who are you? I don't know. Who are you? Boy, I don't know. I can see 
see it as being really popular. I mean, shoot, uh, just from the OST. Of course, his voice is very beautiful. I mean, shoot, if I had a voice like that, I would have done... Don't give me a voice. Like, yo, I told Salvi. Salvi is going to teach me how to sing. And I said, yo, if you give me a voice, I'm going to just talk about sexy things. <laughs> I'm going to just make straight up R&B. <laughs> on January 5th, Sam Kim was a guest on SBS Power F FM's uh, 2 o'clock Escape Cultural Show. This is the first time I'm hearing about this, but you probably know about this. Or a few of the members of April were present as well. Okay. During the broadcast, Sam Kim expressed his feelings in getting first place on major music charts with Who Are You saying, Thank you very much. Such a Sam Kim thing to say. <laughs> when uh, they asked him, Why are you not singing this song for us today? Uh, Sam Kim replied, In Sam Kim fashion. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> the song is so hard that I'm still practicing it. <laughs> Wait. I thought you okay so you finished it the studio version recording it but I guess performing it live it's a little bit different can't wait to check out day six I wait so I'll put a link in the description or uh, a card here or uh, at the end of the slate so y'all can check it out and yeah can't wait to check this I love day six ever since I saw them live and I'm lucky to see them live oh my god they covered Big Bang uh, uh, I think Big Bang Haru Haru but rock version oh you got me right there bro and Jay is so dope yeah. <laughs> Yo, I thought this issue was recording, so they asked me to choose a color. I chose black, like my soul, and what would you do after a breakup? I said spend some alone time. Uh, alone time. Wow, I can't speak. If you catch someone staring at you, what would you- Look at this picture. Oh my god. I pretend I didn't notice. I, I usually do smile, though. Just to creep them out. What kind of job would be your dream job? Well, this or this? I think meets a lot of pe meet a lot of people. I think that's that's it. Pick a K drama. Well, I don't really watch that many K dramas, Sumpy. I'm gonna go with this one. Which of these activities do you prefer the most? Uh, prefer the most? Let's see. Uh, sleeping. Which YG musician would you want as your best friend or significant other? Uh, significant other? What? Ooh. Can I have like? Can I have Taeyang as my best friend or Bobby? Lisa? Uh, Taeyang. Which YG actor would you want as a friend or significant other? Uh, as a friend? Top. Which one one would you want as as a best friend? Ooh, either. I mean, I do want to go back to the Philippines more, more often, so I might choose uh Sandara. Are you introvert extrovert? What's ambient? Ambivert. What's ambivert? Person whose personality has a balance of extrovert and introvert. Feet. Yes, that's basically me. <laughs> ambivert. I never knew that was a thing. I just say introvert, extrovert. But, alright. Sprint, get out of my- You're not sponsored by me. You don't sponsor me. Lonely. You're lonely. You're a loner. It's not- <laughs> It's not that you don't have people around you. You're most comfortable when alone. That, that That's actually true. Where, uh, or with one of your few close friends being being around a lot of people is exhausting. True. And sometimes lonely for you. You know what, Sophie? The way you explained it, you read me like a book. I like to be lo lonely or just with a couple of friends. Uh, being around a lot of people can be exhausting for me. And you could tell in my face when you meet me at KCON after like a long day. I'm like, hi. <laughs> I realized I didn't do the beginning intro. Thank you for watching Omo K-pop where I talk about K-pop that matters to me in this crazy K-pop world. If you like this video, share this video, and subscribe. Uh, I have the links in the description down below for everything I went through. And yeah, um, uh, 2017. Wow. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Hey, you better subscribe. <laughs>